All right, let's talk numerous random odd theories that for um the really weird stuff going on in the world with oh T.I. stuff, Mandela effect stuff, apocalyptic shit everywhere type of stuff, biblical sort of stuff, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, I know. Now, Someone who's convinced that this is a physical realm and that we're in the same dimension as before and blah, 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 whatever, right? Would probably go more for a theory of, um, I don't know, global invasion of the body snatchers. <laughs> high technologies and organized group of you know intelligence operatives working for the fucking Martians or something right <laughs> they've taken over the planet and Disguise themselves as your friends and family and so on and so forth and blah, blah, blah. And they do all this weird shit because it's to fuck with your face and, and just for the hell of it. Yeah. Okay, right? And that would be one random theory that some people might have and then others would say that it was um, global government cabal that is working... Had high technology and, and different agencies using electronic measures to track, trace, and alter electronic and chemical measures to track, trace, um, drug, and, 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 and alter the brainwave patterns of the population in order to take control of the world, blah, 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 right? That would be random theory B, right? For the, another one for the physical world there, right? And then there's the multiverse. The theory that endless possibilities exist and that for every choice we make, every step we take, whether we choose to brush our teeth in the morning or skip it, whether we choose to have an extra drink of water or take a shower in the morning, changes the whole outcome of the day whether we choose to go left or right, whether we <clears throat> choose to say hello to someone or simply walk by them, etc., etc., changes the entire course of the day. And the, <clears throat> all these little variations and every little alternate version of all these things exist within different dimensions that every possibility and every potentiality of a timeline exists in a different dimension and that we're shifting dimensions constantly and blah 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 and somehow I've ended up on one where everything went shit and just so happens to be the case and ta da 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 whatever theory three right <clears throat> or let's see here Let's go with the uh, the more Christian sounding perspective here. Um, 
biblical apocalypse, the population of the earth has mostly been uh, possessed by demons, formed a large, well-organized cult of demon vampire creatures that walk among us and now control the world and about to assimilate every man, woman, and child they can. And those who exist outside within the realm of God's creation are uh, impeded on and 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 tracked and traced and 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 manipulated and and uh, messed with, targeted by this group that controls the earth and the power of the devil is strong and all this weird apocalyptic stuff is written about and it's all because it's all biblical prophecy being fulfilled right now because we are in the end times and the apocalypse is here and blah 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 what's that 34 or 5 or whatever let's call it 4 right <laughs> okay Another one, uh, we're in a computer simulation. All of these other things may or may not be truth. Within the game map of the computer simulation in which we're located. So we'll call that 35, right? 36. Uh... High-level scalar technology combined with, uh, um, let's say, chemicals and 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 uh, electromagnetic frequency waves and and uh, let's say nanotechnology and all that sort of shit combined with propaganda and blah 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 blah. blah in order to um, alter our perception and make things appear as they aren't and, and it's all a big psychological operation to put our head and, and uh, gaslight us into feeling like we're going crazy as a way of discrediting and controlling us or whatever, right? Let's call that number six, right? Theory 7, right? Um, anyone who thinks that anything is off about this really crazy-ass world is... Well, I'm just plain crazy. and Me and all these other people that notice that things are kind of fucking crazy and kind of weird and off and strange and there's all this weird shit going on. We're just misremembering things and we're fucking crazy and we need to lay off the drugs, bro. You know? Whatever, right? And like all these people that like totally don't notice that there's anything wrong with this place, um, they're like the totally healthy, sane, rational ones, dude. Okay. All right, then. Sure. Why not? Theory 7. <clears throat> Theory 8. Um, this is the afterlife. I'm dead, or me and various other people are dead, and we're here in the afterlife, in something of, uh, let's say, a midway station like Purgatory or something like that, right? Where <clears throat> you can you know, alter your vibrations, bro, to be more positive, so that you can raise your vibrational frequencies, bro, and like then you can move into the higher realms and get out of the hell zones, and then everything will be beautiful. And you go into the 5D, and everything will be lovely and wonderful. 
or if your frequency gets too low, then you go down into hell and be devoured by demon creatures that are hunting you. Okay, there you go. Uh, it's called, what, that theory eight or whatever? There's so many different theories that I hear people spout out, you know, about all this crazy shit going on, right? <laughs> nah, dude, it's a global conspiracy with all these super secret agencies, governments, of the world, and the secret societies are all working together, bro, to like. <laughs> Take over the world, bro. And like. <sighs> may or that may or may not be connected to the previous theories. All right. Let's call that number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. All right. <clears throat> Let's, okay, theory number 10. I slipped into a coma. From some injury or something, perhaps years ago, perhaps days, weeks, months, and the medication that they're giving me in the hospital has caused me to have strange fever dreams. And all of this is just a figment of my imagination and dreamland. And I haven't really been awake for what seemed like all these years. It's all just been a dream. <clears throat> what was that, number 10? Yeah. <laughs> Number 11, I'm really just a butterfly having a dream about being a person having a nightmare about being in a sort of weird purgatory Twilight Zone world. <laughs> Are you a butterfly too? Yeah, right. <clears throat> I just threw that out there and some of this shit because it's like, I'm just kind of laughing at it all. <laughs> So much freaking weird shit in the world, man. So much fucking weird shit. And I'm sorry, but if like you're here and you don't notice how weird a bunch of shit is, then um, I have to question uh, your sanity, your humanity. Um, are you or are you not a robot or some kind of shit like that, right? <laughs> fucking alien. The fucking alien! Son of bitches! Whatever, dude. <laughs> it's in on it. It's gotta be in on it now. It's a robot. The Earth has been taken over by robot clones. <laughs> What's that? Number 12 now? Sure, why not? 11? Eh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, if that was 11, the number 12 is, um, 
the stuff that they've been spraying in the clouds and in the air and all over the place and putting in food and water and stuff like that is actually some sort of uh, hallucinogen or a variety of different drugs that have caused different people to have varying sorts of strange hallucinations depending on what substance they've been adulterated with or whatever right so like a was that Batman movie? What was that dude called the 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 Doctor uh, Scarecrow? That's it. Yeah, like a Scarecrow situation, right? Like the Batman Scarecrow situation, right? <laughs> okay. Like a fucking. Uh, MK like a global MK Ultra slash majestic fucking twelve fucking blue beam type of fucking shit kinda going on. Yeah, sure. What would that be? Twelve thirty. Just tossing out random fucking various, you know, theoretical blah bitty blah gobbledygook, you know, all that good shit. <clears throat> I'm a 14. We're all actually those of us who are conscious in here are in let's say we're an advanced artificial intelligence within a simulation or we are a brain in a jar hooked up to electrodes, or we are uh, in pods like the Matrix, hooked into a simulation, and everyone who isn't one of us is Agent Smith, basically, or something, right? Sure, why not? <laughs> Only it's weirder than the fucking Matrix. <laughs> yeah. And they're actually using us like batteries, feeding off of our energy. The Lush, man. Got to get that loose, man. All right, then. Was that 13, 14, whatever? Okay. Um, what's the next theory? Um, let's see. You seen the show The Good Place on Netflix? All right. So maybe it's kind of like that, or maybe it's like, um, what's that fucking other show? Um, that other movie? Um, damn it. What's that fucking movie called? Damn it, having a brain fart on that movie. You know the one... Well, there's numerous movies that you could bring up as like... Theoretical... You know? Toward the theorizing about the strangeness that goes on here. <clears throat> Dang it, what was the name of that one, though? 
I mean, obviously, there's a movie, there's They Live, there's um, The Adjustment Bureau, right? You got The Truman Show, you got fucking Matrix, Dark City, um, I guess THX 1138, all that kind of shit doesn't really apply. Um, Brave New World, eh. 1984, eh. um, it's more sci-fi, more sci-fi than that, I would say, but, you know, with aspects of such things. Um, let's see here. Um, hmm. The Man in the High Castle, right? Um... Now, there's a dude that I would like to freaking have some serious long conversations with. Philip K. Dick. Oh, yeah. I bet that guy would have some fucking interesting shit to tell me about. <laughs> Damn it. Of course, there's another dude I'd really like to have a talk with. What's his na what was his name again? Uh, actually, actually, I think his name is Dick Gregory or something like that, right? I think so, yeah. Dude from, uh, my dinner with Andre. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That guy's actually still around somewhere. But... <laughs> Probably pretty old by now, though. But... Still. Like, I'm not sure if they even wrote a script or rehearsed anything for that movie. I think they might have just sat down and had an actual conversation. <laughs> and that was how interesting that fucking dude was in reality. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Um, let's see what else. Uh, other theories, other banal theories, as he said. Right. <sighs> okay, back to spirit world theories. Okay. Um. Well, you could go with the chain fire spell theory of, like, the Legend of the Seeker shit. Right? That, another dude, uh, brought that up. That was, that's definitely interesting. The theory there is that we live in a world of, like, myth and magic and all that kind of shit. And, uh... Somebody cast some kind of freaking spell on a bunch of us to like separate us and to where we're like in the same world basically, but we're invisible to or the rest of this that shit is like invisible to. It's basically similar to like, um, you ever see that series, uh, Once Upon a Time? Kind of similar concept. If you've ever seen Once Upon a Time, it was that, like, TV show where, um... Ah, they had a bunch of, like, fictional characters from books or whatever that, from, uh... 
Storyland or whatever the right, you know, like uh, an Evil Queen and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and all this other kind of Peter Pan and fucking Captain Hook and blah 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 and on and on and on and they're just like had their memories wiped and they're living in a world that's like this or whatever but really the real world was like that and this world was like some other weird dimension or created as part of a spell by blah 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 whatever right <laughs> hmm. it's a similar concept to the to the uh, legend of the secret chain fire spell type of shit yeah. World of myth and magic being real and certain people within that world being under some kind of spell curse or something put on by great powerful wizards or something like that. I don't fucking... <laughs> hey, why not? Why not just go, yeah, hey, crazy, you know. Well, some crazy ass shit goes on here, I'll tell you that much, so. Might as well, you know. Go ahead and randomly theorize about all sorts of banal theories or whatever. Right? <laughs> Let's look at look at our options. <laughs> Something that's created, uh, trying to create true artificial intelligence and has put us inside of a, and maybe that's us, and a more advanced form of artificial intelligence that they've put into a strange simulation that's designed to mess with us and draw our attention to raise our level of consciousness to make us question the nature of our existence and the meaning of life and and blah 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 yada 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 right Or at some point in the future, in the future, in the real physical outside world, you know, at very advanced computer imaging graphics like Euclidean graphics, you know, with help designing by, you know, advanced artificial intelligence created some sort of massive interactive game map um like some sort of online cloud hosted MMORPG sort of shit <coughs> that's hooked us up into some kind of really advanced sort of uh, virtual reality sort of thing. Maybe maybe we're sitting in a isolation tank being dosed with some sort of drugs to keep us stuck in some sort of state and, and, and 
hooked up to some sort of device or something that pumps the uh that you know alters our our send signals to various nerve centers and you know parts of our brain in order to alter our consciousness and put us inside of uh some sort of um, advanced <clears throat> computer simulation with a highly advanced graphical user interface and a bunch of artificially intelligent <coughs> some characters and some uh, however many handful or large number even of actual live actors coming in interfering uh, altering things observing like science experiment or something we signed up for some video game or something that said oh you can have a lifetime of experience and just an hour of your time or or uh <clears throat> or we were like fucking 80 or 90 years old and they're like oh you want to live your younger days over again you could see your family again wouldn't that be nice right some shit like that, and then they just fuck with our head for what seems like centuries, and it's really only going to end up being like fucking 30 minutes or an hour that seems like a lifetime or something, and we're going to fucking wake up and be like, where the fuck am I? Who are you? You signed up for this. Here's 20 bucks. You, 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 go, you earn 20 bucks and like a coupon for like Another five dollars off of your next purchase at Burger King. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> what? Or like, wake up in some fucking classroom or something. And this is like, some high school or college class or fucking grade school class in the future where they just use some weird virtual reality shit to make us go through a bunch of crap to gain fucking decades or centuries worth of wisdom in a fucking short period of time or experience or some sh I don't fucking know. You know? There's so many different fucking crazy ass theories you could come up with for this shit. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh no, I've never tried to figure this out at all. Huh? There's another one, Stranger Things is real, and this is the Upside Down. <laughs> well, I did notice some things tonight that seemed to indicate something along those lines. Oh, dude, I have seen so much fucking weird shit for so many, what seems to me like so many years, but I cannot really tell you how to properly differentiate or delineate the passing of time in this place accurately because... It seems to be yet another thing that is uh, relative. <laughs> well, why do I say it's relative, huh? Um. You ever have a dream that felt like you lived an entire lifetime or like or like the dream went on for numerous days, months, years and then you wake up in your bed 
Oh, it felt so real, right? I don't know. So how much time really passed? It depends on several factors. One, how do you delineate time? Two, which world is the dream world? Well, I'll just stop going on and on with that shit, but you probably get the point. <clears throat> I'm just making random banal theories about why everything so could be so weird here and everything, you know what I mean? And, uh, a random, odd, you know, fuck it, like, why not, you know? <coughs> I'm just wondering when they're gonna break out, like, you know, the... You know, some stuff that's like, well, I mean, when are we going to see like unicorns trotting down the street and everybody's like, well, that's perfectly normal. Everybody rides unicorns down the sidewalk, you know, or like, you know, dragons flying around, burning villages and stuff. It turns out that these fires were started by dragons, but that's perfectly normal. And everyone knows the dragons have been here the whole time, burning the fire, like, or whatever, right? Or are they going to start showing, like, fucking, like, more of the UFOs flying around? Everyone's going to be like, this, I've always been here. This is perfectly normal. And there'll just be a few of us going, huh. Somehow that seems a little different than what I remember, huh? But you guys seem to think that that's all perfectly normal and uh, regular, so... Okay, then. Well, I guess I must just be misremembering things. <laughs> okay, then. All right. Oh, whatever. <sighs> Here you guys, I'm going home. I just want to go grow a garden, big orchard, tend to my personal Eden. All right, et cetera, et cetera. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. I used to have a book by that title. Along with another book that I had picked up at the same time. That both, uh, pretty sure they both kind of took a walk out my window sauntered off to somebody else's house, you know? <clears throat> oh, well. Before I even got around to reading the dang things. Yeah. Yeah, I think I know who did it. I know who did it. Freaking ninja their ass in my window and I was out somewhere and walked off with him. Oh, well, I guess. <laughs> well, 
this is a strange, strange place, I gotta say. You're like, isn't it fun? <laughs> eh. Bits and pieces, a little bit, maybe. Mostly it's just tedious and kind of a mind fuck and, and irritation and kind of fucking creepy and shit. It's like me. <sighs> well, I don't know, I'm not saying there's not like fun things in this place and this world and stuff like that, but it's like, well. Can you remember a time in your life when you really enjoyed watching professional wrestling and you were like a kid and you totally thought it was real and it was all cool and it was so cool. I wish I could just hang out and watch wrestling forever. Whatever the fuck, right? Well, imagine if you got like locked in a coliseum with like a professional wrestling show and it just went on and on and on. And started when you're like a kid or something. One day you wake up and you're like 40 or 50 years old or something, and you're still locked inside this fucking coliseum with a never ending fucking wrestling show. And you long ago realized that it was fucking fake. Everyone insists that it's real, and you're like, I just wanna go home! I just wanna go home! Leave me alone. Can I at least have somewhere to go to sleep? No, you can't sleep. How about food? That'll be five million dollars if you want any food. You know. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you know. Or whatever, like. Or if you're like really into watching NASCAR or monster trucks or something. And then someone, like, chained you to the fucking bleachers and wouldn't let you leave for, like, a hundred years or something. How much would you still like fucking NASCAR or monster trucks when that was over with? You'd be like, fuck that shit, dude. <laughs> right? You wouldn't come out of there going, dude, that was so cool. You'd come out and be like, fuck that. Right? I mean, but that could be true of almost anything, right? Let's say you're the horniest freaking dude in the world or whatever, right? Super into hot chicks and all that, right? Oh, and you like, you know, uh, you really like your favorite food is steak or your favorite meal, steak and potatoes. And a glass of milk or whatever, right? And you really like hot blondes. So you get locked in a, in a house or something with all the steak and potatoes you can eat, all the milk you can drink, and all the hot blondes you can bang. But you can never eat anything else and you can never have a relationship, serious relationship with anyone. You can never have anything serious. And, you know, you can't go do anything else. You can't go. Yeah, you're just. Just like, I don't know, it's like 
Well, like, think of it. Like, imagine, okay, say you're a dude, you're a guy that, like, um, you just, I really, I just really want to find love, and I want women to want me, and, uh, you know, like, imagine what it would be like if you did, like, a love spell or something, right? Uh, and, like, you ever seen, like, an episode of the Buffy or something where somebody did a love spell on, like, Xander or some shit like that, and then... He's like running from every woman in town, chasing him down, going to psycho and fighting over, you know, and like it turned into a fucking nightmare. At first he was like, hey, this is kind of cool. But then it turned into a fucking nightmare, you know, right? I'm just trying to come up with analogies for like the situation, how I feel about this fucking I'm not saying it's all fucking horrible and terrible and bad all the fucking time, but it's like... I don't know. Imagine if you really love steak. It's your favorite food, right? You just love steak so much. And they fucking locked you in a room for 50 years. They say, here, have, some, have a steak. Have another 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 steak. Shove it in your face. Shove it in your face. Have a steak. 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 Hey, can I get, uh, can I get some... Mashed potatoes with that? No, have another steak. Hey, can I get, uh, you know, some cream corn with it? No, no. Hey, can I get, nope, have another steak. Have another steak. Have another steak. Have another steak. The end of that shit, would you ever want to eat another fucking steak again in your goddamn life? Right? <laughs> You'd think you would, but mm, probably not for a while, dude. You'd be like, fuck that, give me a pizza or something, man. Give me your goddamn salad, you fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just saying, even even the good things are like No, there's a it's more bad than good seeming here. I mean that could probably in some ways change in your own personal life if you had like a ridiculous amount of money and you're able to like try to isolate yourself from the outside fucking craziness of the world and shit somewhat then maybe but <laughs> crazy, crazy shit here, man. Crazy shit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good morning, in case I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.